This is calculator question number 15. College Board is asking a geometry question about an isosceles triangle. Isosceles means two sides are equal, or equivalently, two angles are equal because if the sides are equal, their opposite angles are equal. So if one angle is 50 degrees, then a second angle could be equal because you know two angles are equal, and then to add up to 180, you have 50 plus 50 is 100. The third has to be 80 degrees. So it's possible for angle B to be 50 or for angle B to be 80 because then the third angle is the other one of 50 or 80. So they're asking which one is not possible. And A and C are both possible, so those are the wrong answer. Alternatively, if no angle is equal to 50 degrees, then you have 50 degrees plus, let's call it X degrees for the second angle. And the third angle has to be x also, because the third angle is not equal to 50, so it must be at equal to x. And that equals 180 degrees, subtracting 50 degrees. I get x plus x is 2x degrees equals 130 degrees. If I divide both sides by 2, I get x equals 65 degrees. So that would be 50 degrees plus 65 degrees plus 65 degrees. Those add up to 180, just like 50 plus 50 plus 80 adds up to 180, so that those are possible angles for an isosceles triangle that has a 50 degree angle at A, and they're asking which is not possible. 65 is possible, so choice B is wrong, which means choice D must be the value that's not possible. And that makes sense. If we have a 50 degree and a 100 degree, and your angles add up to 180, the third one has to be 30 degrees. So no two angles are equal, which means no two sides are equal. This could not have been an isosceles triangle. If you try to make two of them equal, 50 plus 100 plus 50, or 50 plus 100 plus 100, either way you end up not having a triangle because triangles add up to 180 degrees. So Choice D would be our answer. College Board often tests the fact that isosceles triangles have two equal sides, and that if you have two side, equal, equal sides, the opposite angles are also equal. And they also test the fact that the largest side is always opposite the largest angle, and the smallest side is always opposite the smallest angle. So make sure you're comfortable with those geometry facts, and come back soon for my next video with math that's always more.